Slining Quickie. Since we covered the first element of the pseudoscientific Myers-Briggs type indicator, let's do the next one, Sensing versus Intuition. The idea is that people tend to either gather information through their senses or prefer to rely more heavily on intuition, making connections between ideas based on patterns rather than literal experiences. Sensors are usually more practical, down-to-earth people who value facts and data over theory or abstract concepts. They tend to be very detail-oriented and enjoy working with tangible objects or engaging in physical activities. Intuitives are generally more theoretical, big-picture thinkers who prefer to focus on ideas rather than specific details or facts. They often find inspiration in abstract concepts and tend to be very creative individuals who enjoy exploring new possibilities and opportunities. But again, this is pretty much a false category. Depending on which study you look at, roughly 7% of people have a preference for sensing while about 2% prefer intuition. The other 91% are somewhere in the middle and are considered balanced between both dimensions. And Myers-Briggs doesn't have a category for balanced, meaning over 90% of people are shoehorned into a category to which they just don't belong. Yes, you have some people who strongly prefer one side over the other, but most people tend to fall somewhere along a continuum between both poles. So, rather than being strictly categorical like the Myers-Briggs system insists, it can actually be much more nuanced and complex. Most people have a good combination of practical sensing abilities and creative intuition tendencies, which can make them very well-rounded individuals who are able to adapt easily to different situations and environments. They're often highly skilled at problem-solving, decision-making, and critical thinking because they're able to bring together both their logical reasoning skills as well as their ability to see the big picture and think creatively outside of traditional boundaries. That's not to say that they're equally good at both, it just means that they have a roughly equal preference for both dimensions rather than having a stronger tendency towards one or the other. If a balanced individual has to deal with a sensor, they may find that their own intuition is at odds with the more practical and literal approach of the sensor. However, since they do have that side of them, those gaps can be bridged with reasoned discourse. Same if they had to deal with an intuitive. Their own experiences and background may not always line up neatly with the more abstract and theoretical concepts that intuitives tend to work with. But again, reason discourse can help them fill in the gaps in each other's way of thinking. The biggest problems can come when an extreme sensor has to deal with an extreme intuitive. But not only can the gap be bridged, this is exactly what science does. Science works on theories and hypotheses which originate from intuitives and practical fact-gathering coming from sensors. It's really only when we combine both sensing-based practicality with intuitive-based creativity and imagination that we're able to truly push the boundaries of human knowledge forward. That's why balanced people are so important and why shoehorning people into one category or the other is destructive to that end.